Good evening folks and uh, yeah tonight we say uh, goodbye to uh, the uh, the Sony uh, TC2 280 tape recorder because uh, this sold the other day uh, I'm not going to disclose how much I got for it because that's none of anyone else's business uh, that's my business, and uh, but uh, uh, let's just say I did well. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to load a tape onto it. Uh, we're going to load this tape onto it. Uh, yeah, because this has got, I know this tape's good and we want it on the high speed. Because uh, I know this has got, got some good uh, music and stuff on it. I can't play it, I'm going to play it through headphones. Because I can't play it because it's copyrighted. So what we'll do, we'll load the tape. You can hear the motor running. This tape was done on my uh, on my other Sony on my TC. Uh, is it three seven seven something like that? Uh, so we're we're actually there. So let's turn this machine. Just plug the headphones in. You might hear a little bit of it. I don't know. Um, I need to get started on the car radio soon as well, so that might be getting on to that tonight. So we'll plug the headphones into there, we'll press play, and as you can see we're running lovely. That sounds good actually folks. So you can't hear that. Let's give you a quick listen, there we go. And it actually works really, really well. Pause. Fast forward. It might be a bit baggy on the rewind because it just uses the belt, the friction of the belt running on the machine. Are we actually... Oh, hang on, let's just stop that because... <laughs> we don't want the reel coming off. There. There we go. I wasn't sure if I'd lock the reel on. But that's fast forward. Rewind. And actually, folks, it's actually rewinding better than what I thought it would. Because it only uses the belt for friction for rewind. It's... Rewind doesn't really have a lot of power at all, I mean, it truly doesn't. That noise is just a tape. That's just the, the tape hitting the reel. You can see it, you can see it catch it because the reel's not straight. There we are and it's stopped. This is not supposed to go back when you get to the end on these. 
you do it manually because there's no solenoid on these to click it back like there was on the other one and uh, if I put the uh, the other tape on I will give it another head clean before it leaves because I've just used it so it will get another head clean so what we'll do we'll put this other tape on and I'm not sure about the cleanliness of this tape so it will get a head clean and then I, after I've done this I'm going to show you how to box it up See, there's a bit of play in that, but that's only in the tape, it's not in the table, it's, you know, obviously the bit of play in the, te in the actual reel. But, uh, so what we'll do, we'll put it in, see, I don't want to record over my music, you see, uh, because, well, I just don't want to. Pull that down into there so it locks in. There we go. Now, press record and put it on to put it into play. Oh, hang on, the tape's tangled. We're, we're not right. We're not right. <laughs> Fancy that. So, why are we, how did we end up that like that? Did I make an error in? Ladies and threading up the tape. Don't want that much leader through. Look at that lot. I like to have about that much. I mean, the tape could even be twisted. For oh, oh, hang on. Yeah. It'll be alright now. It'll be alright on the night, folks, as they say. You know? Turn that, there we go. I mean, Jesus, this lead is shit. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, the the machine itself is going off to Scotland. It's going to Dundee. Make sure we're not. No, we're not going to twist in it this time. There we are. That's at maximum speed, which is seven and a half, uh, seven and a quarter, sorry. Uh, it does seven and a quarter. Uh, what was that? No, seven and a half, sorry. Yeah, seven and a half. Uh, three and three quarters. And uh, 17, 17 and an eighth, and one eighth. I would say that is, but uh, you know, can I plug my headphones in and use them as a mic? I don't know if that can be done. It usually works. So let's turn this up. We want the left. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you can. And what about the other channel? No, you can't. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't mono out. <whistles> Shut up, you! It's only me. Check the other channel. Oh, that's definitely working. It's about the same. You know, give or take. I mean. Uh, yeah, it is recording, so what I'll do now, um, I'll plug the headphones back into the headphone socket. I'll now put it back onto, put it into rewind.
I'll tell you what, it raises the tape nice, it's nice and quiet. We haven't got to the bit where I've decided to plug it in yet. But that is really, really silent, folks. In fact, that that is actually more, that is actually quieter than my other Sony. Oh, there we are. Yeah, that's working that folks. I mean, I'm really, really pleased. Uh, so what we'll do now, we'll rewind the tape off the tables, off the spool. There are. And uh, before I refurbished this the other night, that wouldn't rewind with this much tape on here. It really struggled. But uh, now you can watch me re-box, now you can watch me box it. Uh, How come that how come that switch hasn't flicked down? It should have done. <laughs> but uh that's not a problem. Now let's just let's take the tape off. The switch has probably got caught. Probably got stuck under the thing actually. When I Yeah, it's stuck there look, and the reason why. Yeah, because it's, yeah, see it's not, it's not stiffer out that switch, it's not stiffer anything, I mean, it's not stiffer anything, anyway, uh, we're working, but, uh, yeah, be careful how I put this on because we don't want to break the plastic. There we go. Um, I've not demonstrated the lower speeds, but, you know, uh, as you know, if one speed works, they all do. Let's set the counter back to zero. And what we'll do now... Come on, you cunt. There we go. Nice tight power lead. And what we'll do, we'll give him a nice power lead to go with it. Which is this one. We'll give this, we'll send this power lead. I'm not sending any interconnect leads with it because I don't have any. And uh, I didn't put in the description that there was leads with it, but there isn't. I don't send leads out with them. Uh, unless, of course... Uh, the person specifically requests, and then I'll, obviously I'll add them to the price, but uh, I don't send leads out with them, because uh, people, a lot of people buy, like to buy, a lot of people like to buy their own, a lot of people like to buy their own interconnect leads, anyway, and I'll be sending a link to this video to the lad who's bought this, or I think it's a woman actually, uh, is it Denise or Dennis? I'll have to double check. But I will be sending a link uh, to the person that uh, now owns it to uh, so that they can watch the, watch the video and they can see. See, I don't know whether this is going to be big enough because this came in the box that my camera came in yesterday. But uh, I have got two chunks of it, 
I haven't got too big to look at this. I mean, oh, 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 yeah, well, yeah, yeah, we'll be all right. So what I'll do, what I'll do, I'll... I've got to also this weekend uh, box up uh, a record player that's got to go back. Uh, this bench wasn't really designed for doing box ups, but um, see this this is all ripped, but. It's obviously been used before this bubble wrap, but uh, what we'll do, we'll you can watch me struggle, eh, folks? How about that? How about I let you watch me struggle uh, trying to box up a tape recorder in a confined space? Anyway, uh, I don't think it had all this on it when it was new, this type of bubble wrap, but. But so what we'll do, we'll just straighten everything out as we can. Bring this over the over the top here. See that'll be all right over the top there. Then what we'll do then we'll I'm gonna have to get, get off, I'm gonna have to get off my fat ass. I mean, I normally do this sort of thing. If I'm gonna, I don't usually send anything out for this reason uh, that I hate boxing things up. But if I do have to do a boxing, I generally do it on the kitchen floor. See, and the nice thing about this is. There we are. See, so basically we can bring it under the bottom there. I can lay it flat. Fold that over behind that. Bring that over there, like so. Do the same with that one. And bring this one up here. And what we'll do now, we'll, we'll get the parcel tape. Didn't really want to. I'm not, I'm not going to use a lot of this. I'm not going to use a lot of this parcel tape. I mean, you get people who put fucking absolutely loads on, and you don't need to. You you just need to put a little bit there. Just put it in places where you need things to be held. You don't have to stick it on, so that when the person comes to unbox it, at their end, they're struggling. I mean. So you fold that down there, tuck that down into there, put that there, now we can get the end, these 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 lookers only go a certain way but they don't, uh, they can go any way these and I'm going to put it in that way, I'm going to fold, push that down onto there, there we go, and I shall now lift the machine up that way, and bear in mind folks, uh, I have got some more bubble wrap in the kitchen cupboard if I need it, uh, I don't think I will, but I have got some if I need it, uh, and what we'll do, we'll put this in, so it's that way. I mean, these can go on either way. It's 
There we go. It does show you on the box. So I didn't need that other piece, but I will put it in. It shows you on the box, pardon me, I've just knocked the camera. It shows you somewhere on the box, on one of the lips. Shows you somewhere, oh there it is. Yeah. See, when it was new, all it had over that was a piece of plastic. That's all it had over it when it was new, just, just put in a bag and a piece of bubble wrap probably over the front. <coughs> but, uh save damage in the machine we are going to and I'm not going to put a lot I'm not going to put tape all over the box because it's the original box and we don't want to get tape all over it I will send a link I will send those pardon me I will send a link so there's everything that comes with it including the cleaning swabs that all that's in there so we'll drop that in the bottom of the box we'll now take the machine itself make sure the box is the right way around yeah we'll take the machine itself and we will now pop the machine into the box it's good and tight like they say in Germany get it good and tight and this other piece of bubble wrap what we'll do we can just put this in the top and that because that's how it would have been packed originally just took that under there so it but it is going in another box besides this because although this box would actually be good enough it would be good enough to ship in this box uh, but not in today's but, but not, not, not nowadays it would have been originally I mean when you bought this you'd have got it in this box it's how it would have came. Now we need a power lead. We don't want to forget putting a power cord in or her a power cord in. And there's nowhere really to stow it and it just shows you it put there. That's what it shows you in the packaging. It just shows you the lead just stuffed down there. There we go. And what we'll do... We'll... Hey. Right, and what we'll do, we'll actually, we'll actually put tape on the box, just the way it was originally done, uh, all them years ago when this thing was new. We we'll just, we won't tape the box fully because it's the original, and some people. To be perfectly honest, folks. Some people give a shit more shit about the box than they do about the actual machine. You know? Which I've never quite understood that. Why somebody pays X amount of money for a machine and then they just give a shit they don't really give a shit they only give a shit about the box right oh so what am I actually going to do 
do that that way push that in that way I will put another piece on obviously because because I'm not happy with that but I think this tape's a bit crap to be honest see what I mean I mean, mind you, mind you, it could be, it could be actually, but that doesn't stick that fucking well. Fucking stick that well out, does it? What a load of crap that is. Imagine it could have been that was fucking. Let's try again. Might have been that there. I mean. I'm going to stick a bit there. And I'm going to pull it across. Oh, load of shit. That tape's crap. I mean, luckily, I mean, what it is, it's the dust on the box, really. But this is going in another box anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's just the dust on the box that's causing it, because it's sticking to me fucking fingers with no problems. I mean, yeah, it's just the, just the cardboard, it's, I think it's just the cardboard, isn't it, starting to break down really, so what I'm going to do, I mean, the tape itself is sticking, let's turn this round, and, There we are. Just put a little bit on there, that's got it. That's got it now. That's got it now, folks. Yeah, that's got it. Just put a little bit on the other side. And, I mean, I just want it to get there. I mean, There's a bit of a dip in the box, so we'll follow the dip. We'll stretch the tape. There we are. See, you can't send that through the post. The box would never survive because it's old, but it'll be going into a new box. So I'll take that bit there where the box is damaged. Although it won't be going in this anyway, but I just like things to look. There we are. There you go, folks. Uh, and that is how you read. That is how you box. That is how you box up a tape recorder for sale. For ship. Sorry for shipping. And then for your tape, you just put the end back on there. And then you can peel it back off again when you need to. Now. Uh, tomorrow night we're going to do an unboxing 
Uh, tomorrow night we'll do an unboxing. Uh, sorry, tomorrow night we'll do a boxing up. And we're going to box up uh, Kevin's record player tomorrow night. So, to be perfectly honest folks, one boxing... Uh, they're both going out, both packages are going, both of these are going out on Monday. So, that's no great problem. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is not bad. See, that's still coming off there. It's because of this here. But, this is not the main box. Uh, Jay's got a nice box for me to slide this one into. A nice heavy duty box. So, that's okay. So I'm not really worried about I'm not really worried about that because this is, this is just a box. Yeah, this is this is just a box it came in originally. You would never send it out like that. Anyway, folks, uh that's the unboxing that that's the boxing, sorry, not the unboxing. That's the boxing of the uh so that this is the correct way to box up a tape recorder for shipping. It has got to go into another box. It will be double boxed. So it will be going into another box. But uh, for packing it, this is the correct way to do it. And, uh, you know, this should make it to the new owner in one piece. This machine has been tested. It's been serviced. It works absolutely as it should. Uh, there is no issues with this whatsoever. And, uh, you know. Uh, but as you know, with all my, with, with, with all my uh, items, I do give a three month warranty. So, if it fails, then it just sends it back. It is a return to base warranty. Uh, I mean, I can't see me going all the way to Scotland uh, to Dundee to actually sort this out. So it would have to come back to be done. But anyway, that's uh, uh, that's another matter. I'm not one of these guys that once it's gone, it's gone. It's the end of it. Nope. Uh, anyway, that's it done. Um... I do want to get back onto uh, Gary's car radio. I do want to brew. Um, right, I'll do an update on the car radio in a bit, folks, and I'll let you know where. I'll let you know which way the wind's blowing with that. I've not done anything on it for a couple of days, but I do want to get it done. I'd like to get it out of here. Uh, there's also on Also, I I also hoped. You enjoyed the unboxing on my new camcorder. Well, I say new, it's what I call brand new second hand. It's new to me. But, given, but uh, Sony in their infinite wisdom didn't put a USB port on the camera. They put it on the dock. And I haven't got the dock. The dock was missing. Probably a good reason why the camera was only uh, £59. But it's a lovely camera, the pictures are lovely on it, it has a 40 gig hard drive, uh, it's HDMI, it's a, you know, it's a HD camera, it has got an HDMI port on it. So what I've actually done, I've actually ordered, I've actually ordered, uh, I've got an HDMI lead, I've got the correct lead for it, I, I've actually ordered an HDMI capture card and... Um, I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna try and do my videos that way. Uh, stream it in. Um, uh, stream in. I might even be able to do live uh, videos that way as well, uh, without recording. Just have the uh, well, record it as well, but just have the uh, just have the camera streaming uh, to YouTube. It depends on how long it stays on. There's some of them. Only stay on about 10 minutes and then switch off. It'd be nice if it stayed on uh, indefinitely. Uh, I might try it in a bit actually and see how long it stays on for before it gets fed up and turns off without it doing anything. It might not. 
uh, because there's no tape, so no, nothing, no heads are out. So it might not. It might might stay. Or we'll see. I don't know, but we'll find out. Anyway, uh, the other project, the other thing I want to do is I want to bring my other Sony in, and while I've got tapes knocking them out, I might quickly do that. And I, what I want to do, I want to realign the heads. Uh, because I've got a good tape here, which was done on my other Sony, that I got from my mate Tony. And uh, the heads on that machine have never been messed with, because all the paint is in the right place. And the heads on this machine have never been messed with, because the paint is in the right place. They've still got the blobs of paint on screws. They've never been tweaked, which is what you want. Because if the, when they're set up at the factory, they're set up as far as I'm concerned. Yes, the Azmith can slip. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, if it's playing clear, if it's playing clear and it's recording clear, then don't turn it, leave it, don't make any adjustments. Uh, don't adjust for maximum smoke if it's playing okay and recording okay, which this machine is. And the machine I meant to clean the heads, it, it won't matter. Uh, they were only cleaned the other night, and we only and it sounded sounded nice and clear when I took that tape off it, so we're okay. And well, you know, I forgot to clean it, never mind. They were only cleaned the other night anyway, and a little little bit of tape won't do any any harm. Anyway, I'm not unboxing it just to clean them. But yeah, that uh it's this box that's the problem. Uh you know, it just doesn't uh, adhere to the sticky tape because of generally... I mean, this here is... This here is, it's just where it's been used before, which would have been original. But uh, anyway... I'm going to leave it there, folks, because I'm going to come back with something else in a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.